Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Since hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place. Now this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell, keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Coming from. <laughs> Let me tell you, if people look at your life and they are not surprised, it's a sign that the Holy Spirit is not exalted in your life. Everything about your life should be such a shock and a mystery that people look at Koinonia, for instance, and say, what is this? It's the signature of God. You can see where man's effort ended and you know from here there is a mystery. Hallelujah. This ministry is a mystery because of the hand of God. He says, if I by the finger of God, the finger of God, but brothers and sisters, what you see is a product of relationship. You see, relationship will give you what your manipulation in prayer may not be able to give you. The Bible even says it takes the Holy Spirit for us to pray well. That God is saying, by my standard, you don't even know how to receive from me. Friendship. Those who are pastors here of ministries inside and outside, please pay attention. More than power more than crowd believe me if you want the signature of the spirit upon your life focus on a relationship with god we don't like this that's why the dimension of the operation of god in our lives is limited if i begin to prophesy now and begin to speak and miracles begin to happen many of us just loosen up and you say now koinonia is on no god is not a herbalist he's not a magician what you see happening in this ministry is the same thing that happens in marriage. Are we together? When a man gets married to his wife, as a faithful bride, she becomes a partaker of his might, his authority. She bears his son name instantly. Instantly. His authority becomes her authority. Please listen. For as long as she remains a faithful bride, you may not like her. She may be a cleaner a day before, but marriage translated her. And the Bible tells us, listen, that the church, the ecclesia, is called the bride of Christ. I'm ever conscious of this fact. And the Bible says, husbands, love your wives. Love your wives unto death. And so, there is the love of God. I, I am so, this is my confidence. That he loves me. And he will back everything that represents himself in my life. The first message for us tonight is that it's time to really be serious about our relationship with God. God is not a herbalist. He's not a magician. There are people who can be praying and shouting using Jesus as if he's a genie. You know how you use a charm? You just strike it and do certain things. Look at what Jesus did. Look at his relationship with the Father. When he came, he said, Father, thank you at the grave of Lazarus because I know you always hear me. In fact, he was even embarrassed for just saying thank you aloud because to him it sounded like he was communicating unbelief. And he had to explain himself and say, No, 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 Father, don't think I don't believe you. I did it for their sake. 
we know what we do in the secret do you have a testament in your life that is a reward of the secret place that when men look at you they know that there is a rich healthy current relationship with the holy spirit hallelujah john 15 verse 1 let's read very quickly the first seven verses i am the vine and my father is the vine dresser listen to every branch in me that beareth not fruit he take it away the word take away there is, a, is an incorrect rendition it's not take away is the word prune it doesn't mean i dump because this gives god an idea like if you don't produce he dumps you no he doesn't dump people he prunes you and he says every branch that beareth fruit he purge it that it may yes that's the correct translation and that it may bring forth more fruit verse three we'll read down to seven please now we are clean through the word which i have spoken to you for help us media you have to be a bit fast please abide in me this is jesus speaking he's teaching us the secret of relationship that will produce a fearful dimension of result in your life he says abide in me and i in you right we call this in theology the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery that makes two entities become one he that abided in me and i in him what will be the result read on read on is there what will be the result he says no 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 please give us verse three again verse three please go back okay verse four have i missed something verse five thank you i am the vine ye are the branches he that abided in me and i in him the same does what you see the secret that's what we want another name is results you want results in your life he teaches you the secret he says i am the vine don't be confused you are one with me but you are not the vine you are one with me as the branch don't just say i'm one with christ as what as the branch ever dependent on the vine it says he that abides in me if joshua selman abides in me and i abide in him he said the same will bring forth much fruit and then he tells us the secret of dramatic results for without me for without me the word without means outside of me excluding me in the equation you can do nothing verse 6 if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burnt verse 7 if ye abide in me and my words abide in you he says you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you results on the strength of relationship and so you say father bless your people hallelujah and then you begin to see testimonies and results on the strength of relationship please listen listen god must be the most important person in your life above miracles above healing above business above career pursuits please listen sometimes we get busy trying to do things that we forget that our success in life is a derivative of our relationship there is nothing in this life believe me that is worthy enough to steal away the value, the priority, the position of the Holy Spirit in my life. See what is made out of my life. Only a fool will truly know God and leave him alone to run and live his life his own way. It will give you what money cannot buy. 
he will do unbelievable, unimaginable things in your life. Intimacy. I've hammered this for years. And I'm saying it again. This is the first message. Pastor, if you want the anointing in your life, you want results in your ministry, it's not just by printing banners and marching around town and disturbing people with all kinds of things. There is a place for that. But your greatest publicity is the secret place. When you establish a track record, brothers and sisters, look, God spoke about Jesus Christ. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And he commanded creation to hear him. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It must be your passion. This is koinonia. So God is calling you. I know you want to be healed, but much more than healing. I know you want to be delivered, but much more than deliverance. I know you want breakthrough. You are tired. You want God to visit the foundation of your problem. But more than that, please hear me when I tell you this. It's a sustainable key to grace. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs his presence the key to knowledge dance we be Sing it two more times as an expression of your love to God. That we be your lover of my soul to the song of all songs. One more time. and pray in one minute and say lord in this place tonight let there be grace for me to fall in love with you above and beyond everything please lift your voice and pray inside and outside pray grace to love you grace that you become a priority in my life Are you praying, Koinonia? Inside and outside, please make sure you are praying. Oh, yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. With all my heart, plant a fire in me. In this miracle service, oh God, more than ministry, more than business, more than academics, more than career pursuit, more than marriage, more than parenting. Bring me to a point where nothing in life can take your place. Blessing or no blessing, prosperity or no prosperity, healing or no healing, deliverance. I love your presence. I love your if he abides in me and my word abides in you, you will produce results. Be imagination. Bring us to that place, oh God. Please sit down. There are certain people, this is all you need tonight. 
just this key to fall in love with him hallelujah relationship many times after the service you see people queuing up to see me and i have some of our children here they don't join the queue it's called the privilege and the blessings of relationship hallelujah while the rest are seeing me officially some of these children can just walk up to me and hug me and as far as they are concerned anybody in the queue sorry about that but this is relationship are we together now oh relationship will give you more points you didn't pray for you will see god answering it that's the realm where the bible says as they are still thinking while he's still in the realm of imagination when they threw a man who was in a healthy relationship with god you know that's what that was the bill that was passed by the senate in babylon to make sure daniel cuts away his relationship with god and daniel said no i can do any other thing but not this when they threw him in the den the king could not sleep see the same way if you touch a man's wife even if but is by mistake you can insult her from a distance that's all right but you get physical the husband changes the bible says jealousy is the rage of a man you want to see a, an angry man do something to his wife or somebody he loves his sister or someone that's what happens love alone will give you a level of immunity above the immunity of an earthly ambassador believe me when i tell you this the prophet knew this and that was why when they came to capture him he said they that are with us for us are greater there is an immunity that you can have i pray that god will bring us to that place of fellowship there is that place where sickness cannot come near you there is that place where no oppression of darkness please believe me you will not spend your time binding and casting you will spend your time interacting there is an immunity that comes from that place and your life becomes an unending wonder a subject of discussion with no end because there is a mystery that surrounds it the mystery is him the mystery is him when when Shade was collecting the tithes and offering and she said um, she was giving an example of a woman and she wanted to look for somebody i was hoping she won't call my name you clean my feet you don't get anything believe me there's there's, there's nothing on my you only clean a dirty um feet but if you can clean his feet change your life relationship hallelujah number two please pay attention the second thing the lord put in my heart to share with us is that life is a code life is a code life is a code c-o-d-e thank you life is a code there was so much noise i don't know where that was coming from life is a code and it takes revelation to unlock the codes and the mysteries of life brothers and sisters as have hazard as life looks there is a spiritual rhythm that is responsible for manifestation of results please hear me i call them mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom life is a code it takes knowledge and understanding to unravel it nothing just happens you don't just grow you don't just experience favor you don't just prosper you don't just fall sick you don't just stay healthy you don't just live long and you don't just die life is governed by laws please listen life is governed by mysteries 
Bishop Oyedeko calls them kingdom secrets. The Bible says, let, let's look at a few scriptures. While I was meditating on this, I'm telling you, it, it blew my mind. Media, you help us. Give us Job 29, verse 4. Job 29, verse 4. Then we'll go to chapter 1, verse 3. Job 29, verse 4, and then chapter 1, verse 3. Hear what Job said. The richest man in the east. He says, as I was in the days of my youth. When what? When the secrets of God was upon my tabernacle. He was giving us the explanation. This was a defense. A justification for his being the greatest man in influence. And he said, let me tell you. It's not because my name is Job. There was a mystery. He said, I started doing business with God right from my youth. He says, when the secrets of God. Everybody say the secrets of God. The secrets of God were upon my tabernacle. What did that produce in his life? Chapter 1 verse 3. Same Job. The Bible says his substance. This was a man who had access to divine secrets. The mysteries of the kingdom. Listen. It says his substance was also 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels. And 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household. It says, So that this man was what? The greatest of all men in the east. And he tells us the secret. He said, Don't just envy my influence. What you see, life is a mirror. If you try to change your physical environment, it's as foolish as looking at the mirror and trying to choke your hand through it to alter it. Life only reflects something happening in the spirit. The greatest man in the east gives us the secret and he says the secret of the Lord. I traded secrets, divine secrets. There was an exchange between the Holy Spirit and me. Daniel chapter 2. Let's see what Daniel says. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 and then 46. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. Is God blessing you already? Life is not haphazard. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. Listen, this was when the king had a dream. And he was angry because all his wise men and lieutenants could not interpret it. And he said, look, we are going to kill everybody. And then Daniel said, no, let the king not be hasty in this. Give us time. And Daniel knew the power of his secret place. And the Bible says, then, ay, 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 ay. then the secret was what? Revealed. Brothers and sisters, when a particular kingdom secret is revealed, you hold the keys and you will do wonders with it. There's no, there's, there's no way, no way you can claim you are holding on to a key in the kingdom. And with time, there is no evidence now. It says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. 46. 46. It says, listen, my goodness. A man holds a secret of the kingdom and begins to shock the entire Babylonian empire to a point that this happened. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar did what? He fell upon his face and worshipped who? God? Secrets make a man like a god upon the earth. A king removes his crown and says, what is this? Daniel. He says he worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer oblation and sweet orders to him. Look at verse 28 of the same verse. 28. Hear what Daniel said. Please, let's read together. He was now giving us the key. One to read. But there is a God in heaven that does what? 
and makes known to the king what shall be in the latter days brothers and sisters the god we serve is a god that reveals secrets he can call you and say come let me show you a secret secret do you know them do you know the mystery what you see in this ministry by the grace of god this little that god is doing is a product of mysteries don't you ever think it's a mistake it can be reproduced anywhere any day anytime because it's a secret it says there is a god in heaven everybody say there is a god in heaven that will reveal secrets for me today there is a secret when you handle the story of your family will change tonight just one secret please believe me there is a secret god can show you by prophecy tonight and tell you look look this confusion you are you are amiss this is what is wrong this is the correction there is a secret that delay has a mystery that sustains it are we together that bad luck has a mystery that sustains it don't just say people don't like me don't you know there is something that makes them not to like you the same way somebody can turn and look at benga and say benga god just let me i don't know why but take hundred thousand no nobody just acts anyhow they think they are acting out of compassion but there is an influence in the spirit <laughs> there is a god in heaven that reveals secrets psalm 25 verse 14 psalm 25 verse 14 I must burn this revelation in our hearts. I want us to really have it. Psalm 25 verse 14. It says the secret of the Lord is with who? Them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. The secret of the Lord is not with believers. It's not with churchgoers. Not pastors. Not apostles. Not prophets. Those who revere him. Those who respect him. He will call you and say come let me show you something. Let me show you what makes ministry work. Let me show you something that can take your life. Let me show you something that can bring you promotion in your office. There is something. The Bible says the labor of the fool wearied every one of them. Because he does not know the road to the city. Not because there is no road. He does not know. And part of the blessings of the apostolic ministry and the prophetic ministry is access to the mysteries of a dispensation. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Give us chapter, verse 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 3. This is an apostolic ministry. This is a prophetic ministry. You must understand the spiritual implication. This is what Paul is saying. Listen. He says, for this cause... Do you know that the mysteries of the kingdom have not, um, it's not yet, it's not exhausted. The revelation, what we know in church today is not all there is. God is still opening more doors. And it takes the apostolic ministry to be able to receive and communicate these dispensational secrets. Current mysteries. 3 verse 1. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Verse 2. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word. Verse 3. Read please. 1 to read. How that by revelation he made known unto me what? The mystery. He made known unto me. He showed me by revelation. As I wrote afore in few words. Verse 4. Whereby. Listen. When ye read. Ye may understand my knowledge. In the mystery of Christ. Next verse. Shocking. Listen. Which in other ages. Ah, yeah, 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 was not made known to the sons of men. Stop. Listen. There are mysteries that have been uncovered. In, in today's world. That have not yet been people did not access it before 
not that it was not there but that mystery was not meant for that dispensation and the bible says which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto who his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit it didn't say reveal to believers please listen this is not human worship it didn't say reveal to believers the current present truth the operation of the holy spirit administratively is communicated in the body by the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic so there are mysteries that God is helping us. One of the things I pray that will come upon us tonight is a mantle of revelation. Not just miracles, but that you hold on to something. The moment you enter your office, you know what to do to silence wicked men. The moment you step in, you know what to do to move to the next dimension. The Bible says, for Jesus himself knew what to do. Scripture says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Can we pray in one minute and say, Lord, there is something I need to know to rise to the next level. Please show me. Pray. There is something I need to know. My God, I pray that you show me. Why does everybody hate me? Could it be that there is a mystery that I need to know? The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. Please pray. Lord, why am I just failing, failing in class? the mystery that will end my captivity why an endless circle of poverty there is a key hand it to me tonight oh god please hand it to me why do i just fall sick why is my church not growing why is my home dividing there is a mystery i humble myself tonight why is the anointing scarce in my life why have I not access influence in the spirit show me the mystery are you praying open my eyes This is my year of multiplied grace and influence. It's my year. I place a demand. It's a right properly. Become truth. Right properly. Just said I'm in the day of my youth. When the secrets of the Lord. There are secrets. Hear me, Koinonia. We do business in this kingdom with secrets. There are secrets. We remain on the strength of mysteries. Pray is part of the meeting. You're opening up your spirit. Lord, I'm tired of cycles of failure. What's my family? There is a mystery really bring deliverance hallelujah listen the bible says they are life to those who find them and only those who seek find they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh Number three. The third thing the Lord asked me to share with us tonight. Very powerful. 
is found in John chapter 5. Please give us John chapter 5. We'll read verse 1 to 9. The Lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper. Listen. Listen. The Bible calls God a Beniza. You know what that means? The helper of men. When God comes in to help you in life, you must succeed. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. We're reading down to verse 9. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, Bethesda having five porches. Right? Verse 3. In this lay a great multitude of... Look at the kind of people there. Successful people don't have any business with that environment. It's an environment that connoted weakness. It says, impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Please pay attention. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And then whosoever, excuse me, whosoever then um, first, then first after troubling the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. Can you imagine that kind of frustration? One person per year. Just like Nigeria says you should wait until somebody retires or dies. Then they say there's vacancy. You now come. One person per year was a horrifying situation. Then the Bible says there was a certain man. No name. There was a certain man. Which had an infirmity for how long? 38 years. After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. Do you agree with me? After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern at 38 years no child is a concern at 38 years you cannot at least move into your house is a concern at 38 years there's nothing meaningful you are doing is a concern the bible says this man had been there 38 years when jesus saw him lie now listen god is about to speak to you and knew that he had been there for how long? For a... The first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time. He knows. And then the Bible says, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Verse 7. This is what many of us are saying tonight. The important man answered, Sir, I have no man. I have no helper. I would have gotten the job, but I have no helper. I would have stepped into another level in ministry, but I have no helper. It says, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, and tonight, God wants to be a helper. He walked to him. And the man said, I have no helper. But he said, I will help you. You don't need the pool. Rise up. He can use another route. The formula had always been fall inside the water. But he said, let's ignore the water. I am here. Rise up. The formula has been be blessed after 20 years. But God is saying, I can follow another route with you. Such that in one year, I can do something in your life that will surprise you. He said, I have no man. And the Lord said, reveal to my people, I will manifest as a helper. When God helps a man, you will be surprised. The Bible says, Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Part of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is as a helper. He comes in to help you. That's what grace is all about. That where your effort stops and you say, Lord, if it's based on my qualification, 
Oh, I read whatever it is. And God says, I am here. I can take you to another level. Oh God, I'm here. I've been barren. They said, I don't even have a womb. And he says, I am here to help you. Who is God speaking to tonight? You really need help. Only an arrogant person will deny the need for help. I have been helped by people in my life. And I saw how easy my life became when they helped me. Are we together now? Watch this. Benga, come. I'm trying to lift this. And my hand is, I can't lift it. And then a helper comes. And sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything. And it makes my life easy. The help of God can make a man's life easy. Please, let me preach to you for one minute. I have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and I must say it. Disabuse your mind from this satanic proposal coming from the media that Nigeria is in trouble. Economy, everybody shouting dollar. I'd like you to shout it, count me out. Say it. Shout it one more time. Listen, we are not irresponsible citizens. Don't get me wrong. We sympathize with what is happening in the nation. But if you dare let Satan speak to you, he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life. People who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility. Everybody says dollar is rising. Is it not in your Bible? When men say, Are we together now? It says you will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says in the days of Joseph, it said money failed. Money failed. But there was a secret that was revealed to Joseph. There is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life. Listen. God is looking for every opportunity to make a statement. Afford him your life. A Christian is not one who has just received Jesus into his life. A Christian, listen, is one who operates by the principles of the word of God. Our economy is different. And by economy, I don't just mean finances, your health, whatever. There's Lassa fever. There's what again? Huh? There's Zika virus. There's which one again? They are, they are there. It's the one you know you are mentioning. What of the ones that are arrows that fly by day? Have they told you on TV? The Bible. Listen, listen. Psalm 90. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. Psalm 91 said, Thou shalt not be afraid. Of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Right? There are diseases. You breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation. To keep you. I reject everything. Whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again. Are we together? You must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ. So he wants to be your helper. Can you hand over your life and say, God help me. Truly I've tried by myself. If you don't help me, I will never get this admission. If you don't help me, I will never graduate. If you don't help me, my certificate will remain a piece of paper. I will keep mocking myself with my accolades. Listen, if no one has told you, let me tell you again, our world is a cruel and a wicked world. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to trouble anyone. You just need to be alive. That's the condition to be a potential victim. When the Lord told me this, I said, Lord, I first, I receive for myself. I receive for myself. 
He is my helper. When God comes in to help you, he can round off what has taken you 10 years. 10 years of captivity. Let me tell you something. It doesn't take time when Jesus is there. It doesn't take time. You will be watching the growth. This is how it will live. And you are saying, where is it? It's gone. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne. His father, and the you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that, that CEO. I met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion. Lord, I trust you through my job. God says he will bless you and he said, I know my salary is on his way coming. Lord, I trust you and you say, I know. I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon. He's coming in next week from India. And God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean rolls. To the Lord our Lord. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the elders and the saints Sing praise I believe God though I'm a man of faith I believe God he says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place. Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at Saul and said, when did, we can't see the process. When did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he is already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him. There is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people. Let me tell you, this night, before we pray, just take away your mind from anything and everybody. Don't come to God with your calculation and say, Lord, my prayer request, I wrote my uncle, he must answer me. Leave that one. Let God choose. If God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough, let him give it to you. You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen. Don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says, He spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow 
who said, avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. Are we together? God has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you received the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes, ma'am. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago, she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. And... Um, she said everything was scattering. She was a single mom with a child. Supposedly no hope for marriage. Nothing was working. They were about to throw her out on her job. And I prophesied to her and I said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department. She should not be afraid. And she said, man of God, that's exactly what happened. And she looked at me. And she said, can you imagine what has happened to my life? She just put her hand like this and I saw a ring. She said, I just got married two months ago. And then, she said, I should look outside. And there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, he will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please, I want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say lord you must answer me whenever i call you you will answer me elijah called on you and you answered him moses called on you and you answered him that's why i know wherever i call you you will answer me. Seated here, inside and outside, in all of the overflows, there are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night, they are dying for sure. I bring you a message of hope. The helper is in the house. There are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because they, the situation is so scattered, it doesn't have beginning and end. They don't even know where the problem started from. They know that they are in the middle of a situation. But the helper, when he comes, he can make every crooked path straight. There are people here trusting God for children. There are people here trusting God for a turnaround, breakthrough. Do you believe that God is stepping in? The worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please, don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, please pray. yes lord hallelujah 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 one more prayer point the power of god is so strong in this place i'd like you to say lord 
visit the foundation of my problem and set me free please lift your voice and pray what you think may be the problem may not really be the problem Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to Talk everlasting. The voices. I will praise him from, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle walker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to One more time. Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out. By the authority of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ and god is removing something from your stomach too i'm seeing something leaving your stomach like a growth i command it to go now right now right now i will praise him from everlasting everlasting hallelujah everlasting madam check yourself Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. 
because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you, huh? There's a movement. There's a movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person? Please come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown, brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Eh? because I'm seeing another woman your mother is here the Lord is saying I should speak to her light is living from you outside there is a woman outside she's your mother where is she is she here or at, not outside at, at the is he at the edge of the wall or outside some who is that please is she here come mama God is wiping the tears of your family tonight Everlasting to everlasting, Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. Mama, you're welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you if they tell you their stories your own story will look like child's play because this woman has suffered mama you are a good woman but listen listen where where are you are you in zaria here in zaria what do you do i need to pray because i'm i'm seeing this is a cause i'm a widow i know I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They caught. He must have they caught. This boy must have they caught. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say on the tent. We come back again. Eh? What court? He get problem. He must have they caught. If I don't pray for this boy, as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody like don't don't be afraid, Mama? Because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a cause. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie, same material a tie like a normal this thing this is it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window please i need to speak to her if there is somebody like that let's have a mother outside the lord is showing me mama 
I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus for God to change your story. I don't know what is in the court, but in the name of Jesus, we will change it. How old are you? You are 14. You will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? I'm from Edo. You are from where? Old Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me. Because the same thing he's delivering two of you from. You see that? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit. Father, I lay my hands on our mommy. The back pain. Look at me, Mama. The back pain you it did, it did, it did. From... You will be healed now. Amen. Hold my hands. Amen. Look at what is happening to her. Mama, shout Jesus loud. Jesus! Father, hold my hands for your glory. Mama, look at me. Look at me. You see something like fire moving at your back right now. That pain is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Look at, look at, help her, cover her. It will never return to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, my friend. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing two heads. This is a misidentity. The devil wants to misrepresent you, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Your passion for God. Have good friends. If your friends are not good, leave them this night. May God give you good friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you. That anointing comes upon you, takes you to a new dimension. This is the woman, Mama, you are welcome. Let's celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you, but there is another woman I'm talking about. There is another Mama outside who needs to come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. You have a daughter. Yes. Where is she? She's outside. She's outside. Call her. Come. Daughter, where are you? Please come. Shim. What's her name? Shim. Shim. Please, you had your name rush and come in. Our time is gone. Who is this? I told her to have the one. No, the woman I'm talking about has her tie. Um, it's not the same as the material. It's not the same as the material she's wearing. I'm looking for a head tie that looks close to it. Ladies, now the normal scarf that you carry and tie. But I will pray for you. Anybody that has come out, I'll pray for you. I don't know why she's here, she's here. but I'll pray for you. You are already out. I'll pray for you. Please. Let's, let me just minister to those that are here. I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Please, you can return back to your seat. Let me talk to you. Your daughter? Uh, Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother... This is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, mine. I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life. Believe me. Who is this? Your what? Sister, but she has um, son and daughter. You have a daughter? She has a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister? Yes, sir. 
okay i'll talk with you we have to really rush mama in the name of jesus i pray for you the god i serve will bless you he will honor you what do you do my dear i'm a student where maybe you here. maybe you're here i'll pray for you god is bringing favor upon your life look at me you will really be a blessing to mama and make sure you bless her with all your heart in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you right now in the name of jesus bless you mama come come two of you you love jesus are you part of them come you love jesus no you are stubborn come you need to be prayed for come you don't love jesus you are you are very stubborn but jesus loves you you are a stubborn boy you have bad friends you don't listen we have to pray for you there is a spirit disturbing you you need to be delivered let her go right now out right now in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands i command that devil hmm? they want to make your sister mad eh? what's wrong with her it's mad, sir. She's mad. Mad. Yes, sir. this is madness she'll be free right now she came here mad you are joking this is koinonia i command that spirit she's mad out you must go right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. By the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult an occultic thing it's not just madness and you if they don't pray you don't listen you are small but god will help you eh? don't be angry you have to leave your bad friends you hear me if not soon now you start taking uh, what's that thing that cough syrup huh you hear what i'm saying yes sir huh yes sir please don't be embarrassed we're not we're not here to embarrass people you get what i'm saying we're not here to embarrass people I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm bad being in Sokoto. Eh? I'm staying with my elbow at in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold what? on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm bad being in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. He's staying with your mom? Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You're a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing now. What took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam. On Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't 
want God to help you and you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Huh? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Regina, Regina. I hear a name, Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this, and your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. Yes, sir. mind is who is supposed to they've started your marriage planning please come my sister I, I don't mean to embarrass you you get what I'm saying is to speak over your life you too what category are you here for huh? Regina okay I'll pray for you who has sickle cell there's a sickler here now you are the one please indicate eh? come come Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pr please. Um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please be serious eh? and pray because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious. And you can do anything, especially men. So please, you will listen to that message and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you, if you don't have the eyes of the spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad, don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? It was three of you. You are not the only one. 
you have been sensing that there's another lady the other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you that's why he, why he quietly called out of fear and all of that that he's, he may be a sincere person but him and women is even a spirit he needs help let me pray for you that God will bring the man he has destined you're a very nice lady father in the name of Jesus Christ I lay my hands upon her father send into her life the man a, a responsible and God-fearing man in the name of Jesus Christ and for your shame may my God give you double in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll, madam please come that woman can I talk to you please clear the way for her madam please come please let's pray go ahead and pray pray in the spirit say father visit me madam please look at me I have to pray for you something is tying your finances down completely Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, you were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, because everybody will see you now and think things are just working. But the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Place. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself. Because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. It's true, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your yes, husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The Lord is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. You are? Hairdresser. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. Has he married another one? You want to get I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. You see, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know I don't know what causes it, but I know how it does. Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Um, it's a congenital disorder. 
and the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all but I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We're going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Let's go. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. The power flows through this baby. Jesus name I hope the usher help out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her in the name of Jesus Christ baby we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ look at me where is the man in your life one of the ushers okay I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing something that is serious but I'll talk I'll talk about it okay the Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire. It will come upon you. Confusion, stagnation. At least 13 people I see in the spirit. Please lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. I'll do the praying. Let's just flow the way the Holy Spirit is praying. Lord Jesus, I'm praying right now. By the ministry of angels. 13 people. By the influence of the spirit. I stand under this apostolic anointing. And I pray right now. Wherever you are. Inside and outside. Right now as I pray. That fire starts coming upon them. Right now. Right now bring them out. 13 people. 13 people. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside. That same people. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. 
right to the back right to the back right to the back right to the back i'm seeing fire it's like a spirit that would jump out of you right to the back inside outside i command that confusion outside the anointing of the holy ghost is resting on people confusion all the overflows in the name of jesus confusion must come to an end right now delay lift your hands i tell you there will be a mighty baptism outside outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus when you shout it i see altars on fire are you ready now outside one two three bring them bring them fire is falling outside the bible says while men slept hear me there are things that tie the destinies of men jesus already paid the price that's why we are doing what we are doing the authority is that of jesus christ bring them in now listen listen my goodness you are going to lift your hands for your family i see the angels of the lord bringing deliverance for families listen at the count of three i tell you wherever you are i like you to shout jesus with all your heart some of you you are representing an altar of god for your family and the moment you do that in the name of jesus there will be a miracle one father for families let the soul of the spirit go from the north to the south east and the west of every family right now at the count of three one two three families 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 the sword of judgment Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now those outside listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me. There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain i'm going to, listen i'm going to begin to walk around my goodness i see angels by my left and right as i begin to move across this place the fire of god will start falling right now i stand under this apostolic office and i declare my hands right now right now right now i command us right now right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Fire, 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 every spirit, every devil from my left, my right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every devil right now. I stretch my hands, every spirit, go, 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 
I command every spirit right now. Release them. Release them right now. Release them. Release them. Release them. Release them. Like attack, super. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus. Get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus. Go, go, go out. Out right now. My left and my right. I release spirit. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Those spirits. I command them to leave. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus. It must release you right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen. Those of you outside, don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here, you may be outside. But let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands. Because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now. Please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them. Father, I chains of bondage. But you organize this meeting to recover destinies. Therefore, at the count of three, it will come like fire on some of you. One two three right now right now right now right now right now right now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit i cost that spirit let that go right now in the name of jesus 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is giving you a new song, a new song. The Lord is wiping your tears. You on green, lift your hands. Take it now. Receive right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying what you could not do in five years, you mama, in five years, he's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, I have to pray, there's delay in your life. The Lord wants me to break the spirit of delay. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. No. Hold my hand, sir. Something will happen to you remarkably right now. Take it! That devil of delay. Out of his life right now. Out! Out! I don't know who this man is, but he's stepping into a new level. God is wiping the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing in the spirit a name, Eboni, Eboni State. Someone here from Eboni State. God is bringing a miracle at my back. That person is at my back. Eboni State. God is bringing a miracle wherever that person is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is Margaret? Margaret. I'm hearing the name Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. 
Five ladies, none is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. But then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. Please. I have to talk. Five ladies. None of them is married. Five ladies. None is married. No one among them is married. God needs to do a miracle. Please make sure that we confirm the situation. Five ladies. So that we don't say yes. we are faking it. Please make sure. Yes, yes. Five ladies. Where yes, are you from? Yes, I'm from Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, yes. You two? Five, you two? You are together? Oh, you are his sister? No. You are his friend? So why are you here with him? To back him up? Oh, five ladies, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. There is a spirit that brings delay in your family. And I take authority over that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. There's somebody around here. You are into book selling. Bookstore business. God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business. Here. I'm sensing it. I don't know if there's anybody here. You are into selling of books. The Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person. Oh, Jordan is you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. Call that lady. Call that lady. You. Don't think distance is a barrier. Believe me. God can fish you out from anywhere. Look at me. I know you are standing by the fence, but God is wiping your tears. He's giving you a new song. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release that anointing upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has answered your prayer. You are praying that I minister to you. You and your friend. Where is your friend? Where is he? Lift up your hands, two of you. You will step into an anointing. Huh? Hold your hands together. In the name of Jesus. Look, I stretch my hands. Right now, let a fire come upon both of you. Right now, right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You step into a strange dimension. Let me talk to the people here. I want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting, it doesn't matter where you are. God can visit you. No, don't worry. Just, just leave the person. Grace. I hear a name, Grace. 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 There's someone with the name Grace. Is there someone like that? Grace. Grace. I need to pray for Grace. 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 And I'm hearing Garba. Garba. I'm hearing a name Garba. God is ministering to somebody. I don't know if it's a son name or a name Garba. In the name of Jesus. Garba, where are you? Your name is Garba? Your son name is Garba. Where is your dad? He's outside. He's in Saudi Arabia. He's, a, he's, he's in Saudi Arabia. Because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God is saying I should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Okay. And it's, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with me. You are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Amen. Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man into your life. Bless you. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jam next week. Jam. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing. You are writing jam. Three people.
writing jam. Somebody is writing it for the fourth time. That person, you are the one. This will be the last time. Do you know me? Come, come and stand. What, please remind me in case I forget. This jam thing, we have to settle it once and for all. Please. People are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me, please lift your hands. Not these ones, those ones, exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right, God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside here there are at least two of you fire is coming upon you right now i see the power of darkness being broken lord where are they right now i stretch hands in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this anointing wherever they are father there is a lady right now it's like fire is coming upon you right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that fire is coming upon you all of you standing here, I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names. Hear me. Whatever has tied your progress, I'm talking to those here. I stand under this anointing and I declare a change of story right now. Benway State. There's someone here from Benway. Benway. Um, Benway State. You have an elder brother. Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing. Please, you have another brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here, you have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here. You are looking for a job. June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking. But God is meaning somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? Kogiste. I need to pray for you because there's wisdom. I take authority over that spirit of Jesus. I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Um, what's the name of that? It's not just dab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just... Uh, all that cigarette please don't be embarrassed follow me and i'll i'll pray for you and brother here listen listen god is speaking to you you came for koinonia but you left a lady in your room you left a lady in your room you told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back please don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen a, some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not, this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now. 
in the name of Jesus Christ right now right now I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ a lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now it will come upon you like fire I take authority over it right now in the name of Jesus Christ and there is a lady that the Lord is showing me for four months you have not seen your period four months you have not seen your period I think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning in the name of Jesus Christ I see someone's family um, like relative in prison there's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives I don't know if it's in a police station or prison something like that God is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you're the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in Gobe State how long is his tenure Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Yes. Lift your hands for him. And let the name of Jesus step in and give him the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You. This. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Joseph, Joseph, I hear you, Joseph, Joseph, you are wearing a short dress, Joseph, you are wearing a short dress, Joseph, you are in the crowd, I will pray for you, but the Joseph is inside the crowd here, who is that, come out, your name is Joseph, I will pray for you, God wants to lift you, lift your hands, something will come on you, you are in spirit, God is white. In the name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? So you are done with German. What do you want to study? Agri. You are going to be a businessman, and God is going to honor you. In the name of Jesus, Joseph John. Where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There is an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he will lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord will lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. Not you or your sister. Is how many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. 
God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problem. No, 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 not eye. I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? I'm going to put status is changing. No more you get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should be better not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more Let's go. I'm on my way to better Those days. Those things, please, for me. Status is changing. The Lord is bringing you to a new dimension. I'm on my way to better I'm on my way. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's... Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister. Yes. Where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please. Don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please. Please. Okay. Come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me, when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you're standing for yourself, move this way, please, so that I know. Please, just move here. I will worship him forever, love me forever, because this is God is to do. Please, this way, just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please see how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me. Something is being activated in your spirit, man. Step into that oil, that fountain. It's that healing anointing. Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You out right now, right now. It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit, and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. 
Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone. Here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. Miracle children. They take in right now. And nine months after now, they give birth to their children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Those who are standing here, I'm going to pray for you. Please make sure you are married. If you are not married, please don't embarrass yourself. Go back to your seat. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for those who are standing for themselves. We have to pray. That's why you came. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. Please. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence, the source of my strength, are you. the strength of my life, are you. my hope and my joy, are you. Hey, my confidence. Are you. I looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me. Your mercy is everlasting, undenying, overwhelming. I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My hope and my joy are you. Hey, My confidence are you. The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life are you. My hope and my joy My confidence are you. Hey, I am I release this miracle. Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord wipes your tears. Right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hands? Hold on. 
I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle, a miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast. We'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy. There are people who have not yet received what they came for here. Please, just be patient with us. Please, this is a miracle service, right? So that we can justify our coming. Please, let's rise. We'll just do this in one minute. I'd like you to believe. Stretch your hands here right now. Stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray. Prophesy over it. Your request is here. Lord, we turn it into a testimony. Please make sure those outside their requests are here too. If they are here to collect your request, just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you. Are you praying? Prophesy. Father, this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Sheba karota supra di rebosh. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles. Upon miracles. Miracles. Visit everyone. Visit issues of concern. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received. We have to pray in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to believe God and lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting off with direction. There are people here who came praying, Lord, what is the next step of my destiny? Wherever you are, I'm prophesying to you. As I speak, fire will come upon you just on your head. Some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God. What is the next step? I pray by this anointing, receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's marital destiny is under siege. Right now, in the name that is above all names. An anointing, a yoke breaker anointing. I prophesy, receive it right now. I open those doors right now. 
inside outside i open those doors right now hallelujah there's someone praying you are asking god for money for rent rent the lord is telling me that between now and monday morning there is a miracle coming for you there is a miracle coming for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are ladies who have even guys this spell of disfavor please listen in the name of jesus you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face i see many people being affected by this lord where are they that mark of disfavor by this anointing right now right now i break that mark right now inside outside in the name of jesus i tear off that mark that mark of disfavor that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work i come against it in the name of jesus You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Listen, if I give you a millionaire's ATM, and I say, look, for some reason for just trusting me, I reward that trust by giving you an ATM. Potentially speaking, has more money than you will need in your life. This is recession. So an example with money is a very fruitful one. It will help people understand. Are we together? He gives you an ATM. Are we together now? But for some reason, you have to be trained. To know that that ATM is a fact that there's money inside. It's a fact that potentially speaking, you have access. Now, you may move around with your friend that you used to eat with before. It does not stop that the fact that you are a current possessor of that ATM. Experiencing the possibilities, someone must be introduced to your life. Or a document must be introduced that is a map that guides you and says, Stand before a machine, the name is ATM and you slot it and you are patient the dynamics of the operation this is where knowledge and understanding comes and you can hold that atm forever and stand and swallow saliva in front of a shop that the atm can buy the whole shop are we together now now you are crying to the one who gave you the atm and he's saying i have made available so out of his love giving you the atm is enough but he sent someone to come and guide you but that person is so gentle it will take your cooperation so he says look we created this atm it's not like they gave us we understand how this thing works and you say no 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 no. i went to school just hold on when i am difficult this is what many people do so you hold this atm for years and satan comes around and tells you this thing is only a small card and he says it's a small card put it in your pocket and you put it in your pocket and move around this is what makes christ look weak in the life of men this is what makes the word of god look like it is of non-effect so in spite of the fact that this reality is a fact knowledge of the systems of god the provisions that have been made in place everything we do in the kingdom is not adding to what christ has done is accessing through partnership the mysteries of the kingdom that releases those possibilities so that after five years of working with god my life should be able to reflect more of god now than it did five years ago not just in terms of finances and all of that in terms of ascendance in the spirit i should not fear five years later what i was afraid of five years before I should not be a victim five years later of what I was a victim of before. No. I prayed for a gentleman here. I believe he's here. He was in the school of ministry. He had a dream. And somebody appeared to him in the dream, 
punched his hand and he woke up physically with a punch with blood many years before would look at it and say hi this is a serious issue and go and shout like fools around but when i saw it i said i want to touch it zoe zoe this is not the issue of prayer there is an implication to the life i hold let my the life of god make contact with that infirmity zoe god's life possessors of divine possibilities i want you to take away take your eyes away from your challenge if you want to believe this because that's what satan will use to mock you you are a possessor of that life why are you barren five years don't mock yourself and then you say it's true uh -uh. there is still a provision because to make sure that you release this life he still gave unto some apostles and prophets look at all the provisions he put in place he gave you his life gave you his spirit gave you his word sent gifts in the body so that we are not without excuse if you fail you neglected the systems of god you neglected his life so you go to hell you neglected his word so there is no growth you neglect his spirit no direction you neglect the gifts so no lifting anyone that fails in life listen to me it's not god he neglected the systems the life of god the spirit of god the word of god the gifts that he has sent just like there are people here looking at me who have never been interested in the life of god the life of God is the most superior reflection of his love and benevolence. More than giving you a pastor. More than giving you a prophet and apostle. More than giving you the Bible. More than giving you a whatever it is. You have to receive them in that order. You don't receive his life. Even if you receive his prophets, you will not maximize your stay. The prophets can only assist as guided by God. They cannot impart life. A man of God can impart every other thing aside from eternal life. I can impart healing. I can impart an anointing. I can prophesy to you and your life will change. But I cannot say be born again. I can even stand before God to declare your sins forgiven. Right? In terms of the limitations that stand between you. But that is only a possibility in Christ. Please, I want you to believe this. This issue of being born again is not a choice. It's not a choice people buy phones now their phones get missing and they cry for days because owning a phone now is almost not a choice let's institutionalize salvation let's make it part of the fabric of growth to make it look like you don't say okay if you want to you want to you better come out whether you know it or not you want to are we together eternal life what you believe about jesus is important you must believe that he came from heaven if you believe he came from israel you are not saved you are not a child of god there is a footballer called jesus he cannot save men he can play football but he cannot save men please let's clarify these loose ends quickly before we continue there are things you have to believe jesus himself said in john chapter 6 i am the bread that came from heaven he told us his location that he came from heaven you must believe that he came from heaven number two you must believe in his incarnation his incarnation is the mystery that made the world flesh the womb of the woman is that mystery the mystery that made the world the eternal word that was with God John 1 verse 1 become flesh many Christians don't know this you must believe in the incarnation not reincarnation incarnation if you believe in the reincarnation of jesus christ you are an antichrist incarnation incarnation the word became flesh number three you must believe in his humanity he didn't just come and die and went away he walked upon the earth partook of the weaknesses of men there is jesus the man he walked upon the earth the bible says he was in every way like us tempted yet without sin if you don't believe in the humanity of jesus christ you will shortchange yourself from walking in the fullness of the life of god 
you must believe in the dominion he exerted by means of the presence of the Holy Spirit in his life not by means of being Jesus the Son of God when he came upon the earth he stripped himself of his Godship and submitted himself as a model to the ministry of the Holy Spirit so every result gotten in Jesus life was not because he was Jesus it was because he was under the influence of the spirit so that we are not without excuse the same spirit that made Jesus the Christ is the same spirit that will make Jake the Christ is the same spirit that will make Ejimi the Christ is the same spirit that will make Joshua Selma the Christ believe in the humanity of Jesus he demonstrated the sovereign power of God flawlessly above creation above principalities and powers he demonstrated to us in his earthly life that Zoe is a possibility are we together you must believe in the passion of the Christ theologically speaking the entire event that took place beginning from the upper room the communion where they received the Holy Spirit was where they had the communion are we together down to the experience in Gethsemane down to Pontius Pilate and Herod who used Jesus as a scapegoat to become friends they were enemies but Jesus look how powerful Jesus was even before he died he reconciled enemies then you must believe in every activity the mystery of the whip for by his stripes we are healed the mystery of the crown of thorns that was put upon his head an exchange for our dominion restored you must believe in the mockery that he received you must believe in the fact that he was on his way to Golgotha the place of skull as an exchange for us Jesus did not die on the road he was hung on a tree it was necessary that he had to be crucified if Jesus died and it was not by crucifixion he would not be able to take the sins of the world there are conditions to be able to take the sins of the world number one you must become flesh number two your blood must be sinless number three you must enact a mystery that transfers the sin of men to you and that mystery is called the communion the communion is not what christians take in church the communion is a sacrament there's a theological name for it. It's called the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery with which two people become one is what is used in marriage. Two separate entities by covenant. Still different personalities but one in the spirit. And that is enacted through the communion. John chapter 6. Are you getting blessed tonight? John chapter 6. Let's read. Help us media. Let's read verse 35. Okay, just for time's sake, let's run to 53. Just four verses, 53 to 57. John chapter 6. 53. Jesus is speaking now. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He's introducing them to the mystery that will make the sins of the whole world come into Him. You have to understand, it's not just that He died for us, we died in Him. So you need to find out how we entered Him. Because Galatians 2.20 says, I am or I have been crucified with Christ. Not just that he was crucified for me. Are we together? Jesus died for me. That's an act of love. I died with him. That's identification. There are two different things. It's not just enough to believe he did it for you. You must believe that you did it in him. That's why we are seated with him. But we must trace where the journey started verily verily i say unto you except ye eat of my flesh listen carefully ye eat of the flesh of the son of man and drink of his blood what will happen to you ye have no life you are living physically but you are not a possessor of my life now to eat the flesh and to drink the blood is a mystery there is a prophetic act called communion a physical prophetic act but it's a language remember Hosea chapter 10 right Hosea chapter 12 I have spoken to you by the prophets I have used similitudes similitudes it's in the character of God to use similitudes what we call prophetic act 
a foreshadow an um, adumbration of something physical like he told Moses to leave the rod and that rod is Christ so it's in the character of God that's what I mean by the universality of his character is consistent both pre-old old new testament post new <laughs> hallelujah 54 who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath zoe there is and I will raise him up at the last day 55 for my flesh is meat indeed now this sounds like occultism so you have to understand my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth aha he's now switching the parable for you to understand that he's not necessarily talking of physically eating he's talking about a condition of intimacy that can be likened to eating and drinking prophetically adumbrated by a physical activity to eat the blood the body and blood of jesus is not just to eat things no it is a dimension of intimacy that begins by accepting and receiving him so he says dwelleth in me and i in him eating and drinking is an adumbration of a system that gets you into christ and gets christ into you last verse as the living father had sent me now listen and i live by the father do you know what that means that means i ate and drank of the father so i now live in the father that same system that made me to live by the father it says so that he eated me shall also live by me listen are we you are intelligent now jesus is saying the father gave me his life and he called how he got that life eating and drinking and he said the same way i ate of the father's life that means i ate of his flesh i drank of his blood to have his life so also that means we must understand how did jesus receive the way number one he was born of the spirit of the father understand this he was born of the spirit of the father number two he was empowered by the spirit of the father number three he walked in obedience to the spirit of the father these three conditions translated to him eating and drinking he released the reality of the fullness of the life of god everybody look at me communion is more than bread and wine if your experience at communion stops at just eating bread and drinking wine you are carrying out a religious activity that is powerless the eating and the drinking only becomes powerful on the strength of your understanding it is your understanding that releases the life are we together that means hallelujah every day of my life i can be eating the communion when i do the i eat the communion certain things happen many of them we're going to look at it the bible says that we testify and we declare of the lord's death how do we declare of his death we died with him we are alive that means my being alive is a testament that he is alive when you understand all of these facets of this communion then you will find out you can release the possibilities that come with it healing breakthrough an invocation of the mystery of mercy i can spend all night talking about the mercy of god the mercy of god is a mystery that starts with sinners but is needed in the kingdom otherwise we will not attain that height mercy is a mystery in god that vetoes judgment in your life it has nothing to do with whether the judgment is legitimate or not the moment your life is in a situation where on legal basis the devil should prevail over you what you need is the application of the mystery of his mercy are we together 
remember when David took a man's wife are we together now David was a man who loved God he took a man's wife killed the man and when he had a man's wife a particular prophet came his pastor came and gave a parable he started with a parable and gave a parable a parable that reflected that a man bullied a man and took something and David said who is that man and he said you are the man you are the man do you know what happened the Bible says immediately David repented and sought for mercy and I think it was Abner his prophet he said ah the Lord has shown you mercy and you will not die meaning the price for that thing was death if David did not invoke the mercy like Saul he would die too so David did not become an heir to the throne and then a predecessor of Jesus because of perfection the difference between him and Saul was mercy there was nothing Saul did that David did not do the difference was mercy mercy is only available in Christ mercy is a mystery that Satan cannot give mercy is a mystery that pastors they can pardon but they can't show mercy we interchange the words mercy is a mystery mercy is not to be excused mercy is that they pay for you so you enjoy the freedom but at the expense of someone else's there are few men who can show mercy they can pardon you but mercy does not take away the price it only exempts you hallelujah tenants of the christian faith unshakable foundations that will make a man remain in christ doctrine will rise and fall denomination will rise and fall technology will introduce sex and rise and fall but after many years you will still be standing let me tell you if you ever fall in your christian race it's not because satan prevailed over you it's because your foundation was shaking when you don't know what you believe that make up your conviction the day you meet with somebody who is an intelligent professor who studied Scientology he will sit with you and use quantum physics to wash away your intelligence and make you look at Jesus and say I never knew you were you were um, Buddha's mate it's just that you came ahead of him every religion acknowledges Jesus but what you acknowledge him as makes the difference. You acknowledge Jesus Christ as a carpenter's son. It is true, but you are still going to hell. Are we together now? Yes. I believe in him. And this is what I believe about him. This is what the devil, when he comes to your life, he probes the dimensions of your convictions satan is not a fool he doesn't come to attack men when he came to jesus he started throwing questions the questions were testing how far and he found out ah every dimension there was a word basis that word did not come by mistake he went to the temple from age 12 he had been learning he had been building when satan comes to your life he will begin to throw issues around your life to find what dimension of spiritual reality has not become spirit and life to you. That becomes his access point to your life. Satan cometh to me. So he will come to everybody, but he did not find. Meaning there is a possibility that he can find. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You need to sustain an orientation in the spirit that defies every assault of darkness for instance the bible says while we look not at the things that are unseen but the things that are seen so if the devil wants to manipulate your senses to make you look like if you are truly in christ don't mind this stupid joshua selman and what he's saying if he's really in christ why is a and b and c happening the happening in your life does not change the fact that his life is in you Our eternal destinies are determined by the, whether or not we are possessors of that life. But the qualities of our lives on earth are dependent on the extent of our partnership through faith with the Holy Spirit in order to release those lives. 
so if i look at a man's life and his life demonstrates a dimension of spiritual possibility that is not in my life aside from other factors like the election of grace and other things it must mean therefore that there is a dimension of partnership he has sustained with the holy spirit that i've not been able to come into it that's why a family can have five people their father can be a pastor but the extent of their results will differ are we together now listen when jesus walked upon the earth he was very specific with his actions he intended for certain things to be understood about his work on earth that's why he had to reveal himself to paul to document these mysteries although the disciples saw him when he resurrected he still was with them 40 days and then left them 10 days in the upper room to receive the holy spirit but even in the midst of that he still had to anoint a man paul of tarsus saul who later became paul to be able to articulate the mysteries paul calls it the fellowship of the mystery the fellowship of the mystery the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians 1, 2, 3 that we are alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life. Are we together now? Not experientially walking in the fullness of that life. Listen, tonight as we prepare to receive the communion, I want you to come to terms with certain things. Number one, you must have the brokenness and the unashamedness to admit that if there is anything in your life that is yet to reflect the fullness of Christ it is not because of a limitation posed by God it is that there is a dimension of partnership with the Holy Spirit are we together that has not yet begun or has not yet come to fruition for you to experience that dimension you are only authorized to receive results if you can maintain that posture that my life and your life today is not a reflection of who God is but a reflection of how far we have chosen to walk with him it's an uncomfortable truth but victory starts from that standpoint either he lied or there's something wrong on our own part are we together so if there are witches appearing every night destroying your life you sleep and somebody appears now listen let me balance something to deny the existence of that possibility is another dimension of foolishness this is what sometimes we preachers do we say it does not exist no it exists you can only be exempted you can't stop it satan still has authority over the systems he's still the prince of the power of air he's called a prince the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience for a season he's still allowed what happened is that god created a mystery that exempts you causes are real they are still at work yokes are real they are still at work they will still attempt you and until your knowledge bails you out knowledge of what the systems of the kingdom bails you out you will still be a victim of them so when you come to me as a man of god and say sir somebody came in the night and slept with me i said that's nonsense no you are not being accurate you may have ascended a level of understanding that exempts you from that experience but to deny the existence of that thing is a joke what i can do is i can introduce to you what christ gave to conquer it hallelujah you have won the victory Lift your voice and sing unto him. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. You're seated in majesty. Seated in majesty, you are the reason, King. You are the reason, King. Hallelujah. My life and my experiences are too small 
to limit everything God said about Zoe. If I live my life today dying of sickness, dying of failure, my life cannot be a model enough to say this is all that is contained in God. And I must have the unashamedness to admit that my limitations are not caused by the inability of God to produce that result. It's been encapsulated in Zoe. It should be a challenge for me that there is a dimension of understanding through the ministry of the word, the ministry of the spirit, and the ministry of his body. We are members of his body, not just his spirit. We are part of the body. And the body as an entity holds possibilities. So I can love Jesus Christ, but I may not have been taught that part of his system is the introduction of apostles and prophets that can speak over your life. That can make me walk barren of the possibilities of God. But when I study through the word that there is a provision made like that, then I can align myself to that provision and now begin to walk in a new reality. Tonight is a night of brutal admittance. We have to come to a point where we admit that, listen, my father has not gotten a job for 20 years. My mother has not gotten a job for 20 years. It is not because God cannot release jobs. It is because there may be a dimension. Either they have refused to receive his life, partner with the spirit, understand his word, or discern his body. These are the causes. These are the things that are responsible for the limitations of people. So what we are doing tonight is not why you will be healed. What you are understanding now is why you will be healed. This understanding is what gives life to the wafers. The person who made the wine you are about to drink may be somewhere. You bought the wine. He was doing business. The person who made the wafers you are about to eat, he may even be an unbeliever. He just had that Christians eat this thing often. And he said, this is a stream of income and produced it. So you are eating somebody's value. You are not eating power. It is your understanding that translates that mystery. Like water turned to wine. Between the water and the wine was a word. When a word came, it turned the water to wine. It is that word, that understanding that will turn bread to his body. And the drink to his blood. Color does not matter. Whether the color is green or blue. It's only red to affect your psychology even if this is what you take it is your understanding in the kingdom power is released through understanding not just motion you tie it is not the money that brings the power is the understanding that gives life to the activity that's why jesus said this is how you will build and the gates of hell will not prevail upon this rock the rock is not peter the rock is a system upon this formula you will build never speak outside of understanding so the system is that you first understand then you act when you act out of understanding you are building upon a rock when you act void of understanding you are building upon sand the sons of skiva showed us a graphic example of that they spoke but there was no understanding and he said jesus i know he built upon a rock paul i know he built upon a rock but you are just speaking that means you come and eat because you heard that bishop oyedeko blessed communion and people took it and all of a sudden people were vomiting animals and then you take it and as soon as you take it as you are getting home the same spirit comes again because it's not the ritual the understanding is where the power lies so paul i repeat ephesians 1 for this cause it's not enough that you have received the way for this cause i have to go the extra mile to bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you that the holy spirit may reveal himself unto you as the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that you will know epignosis come into an understanding not awareness come into an experience where you and the information has become one when you understand this then you take that step and you find out that life is now released some of you because of this you will not even be able to hold the communion cup because you are now holding it now with understanding the demon that oppresses you has seen the light understanding gives life to the symbol remember 
the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding when that light comes that's what releases the power ordinarily you would have carried it and eaten and said can i take another one you see why paul rebuked the church in corinth they were not discerning the lord's body a time came when many of them started using the communion for alcoholism because they did not have a system of preserving this thing so they looked forward to communion services communion will always remain and then they didn't just take a little this thing this is just for social reasons and then to guide people financially but then you could have a big cup and fetch so there were people who would fetch and go and hide somewhere they didn't believe in jesus and they would drink and paul found out they were getting tipsy in the middle of an outpouring and paul said no you people should come we need bible study something is wrong you guys if you are hungry that's what paul said if you are hungry do what go and eat in your house don't come to the lord's house and violate his temple by eating he said for this cause this is it for not discerning for acting foolishly out of understanding many are weak many are sick many do sleep when was the last time you saw written in the grave of a man that he died because he didn't discern the lost body they say he died of cardiac failure for this cause so if i want to improve my life it's not all up to god the way is at work it's been available by grace but my partnership i must check the systems i'm ignoring i am ignoring the life of god like some of you are doing looking at me now not born again when you see people talk about get born again, say, forget about them jerry they're just hopeless people after all so, so so sociology said religion is the opium of the masses that guy may probably be in hell now be careful are we together now hmm don't 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 listen to junks you can write it and pass your exams but when it comes to your eternal destiny you must be serious you have rejected his life or you have rejected the ministry of his spirit you have rejected the ministry of his word you have rejected the ministry of his body these are the provisions made i want to ask you a question tonight which one have you rejected you can easily know it by looking at your life you have insulted every man of god you know by saying look forget it i insult every man of god we can all go to christ you have accepted christ you may have accepted his word but you have rejected his body there is a consequence a bitter one they are taken for a prey and none say it restore the bible tells us that there is a system with which god built his ecclesia the church he said christ is the chief cornerstone immediately you meet christ he introduced two ministries called the apostles and the prophets they are the foundations of the church if you do not meet them your building cannot grow the cornerstone is there you ignore them you build nonsense it's a system it's an election of grace Which one have you ignored? Some of you have ignored, have supposedly admitted the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You like power. You don't doubt. Even if somebody jumps up and hangs in the air, you like it. But you have ignored the ministry of the word. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. That illumination that comes through his word. You have ignored pay attention to what i'm teaching tonight you have ignored that boundary of revelation and you will find out that there will be a lot of charismatism around your life and you will know which one is witchcraft and which one is of god because there is no compass there is no the word of god is like a buffer solution it defines the dimensions of the operations of the holy spirit so when you are going out of it the word of god guides you and says no every manifestation must be consistent with the character of god there are people who have embraced supposedly the ministry of the word. The Bible calls them men who have come around the baptism of John and ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Acts 19, remember, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Verse 1. And verse 2, they says, we have not even heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And Paul was surprised. They were believers, disciples. 
going through Bible study. He said, unto what then were you baptized? They said, the baptism of John. And Paul said, no. The baptism of John was a baptism of repentance. To the end that they should believe on he that should come, even Jesus Christ. And when they had it, the Bible says they were baptized in the name of the Lord. And Paul laying his hands on them, they now received the ministry of the Spirit of God. Right? They prayed in tongues and prophesied. The Bible says there were about 12 of them. Acts chapter 19, 1 to 5. Thank you very much. So it is possible to believe the Bible just because you inherited it from your pastor but not walk with the Spirit. Jesus died to make all these systems available. His life in us, exclusively given through the office of the Christ but released by the interaction of that believer with the Spirit of God, the Word of God, the body, we teach a lot about the word of God. We teach a lot about the spirit of God. But we ignore his body. Christ is the head. He's not a head moving around. That head has a body. And he acknowledges that the body is part of himself. And then in another mystery, he calls that body his wife. You don't ignore a man's wife and, leave, and then he will laugh with you. The Bible said jealousy is the rage of a man. So as you insult his wife simply because the wife is wounded are we together if a jimmy's wife has an injury and you say because of that she's no longer a woman a jimmy will stand close to her first before he will give you a slap you say by this little act let me prove to you that when i said i do i meant it i also said i mean it so the man of god may not be perfect but he's still part of the system when you criticize him you are criticizing somebody's wife and that man will react are you hearing what i'm saying for this cause i've taught it here go and get the teaching on the body of christ i told you the mystery of receiving from the body of christ was adumbrated in the parable of samson samson went to the philistines and he gave them a riddle he said out of something weak came something strong and they could not decipher the parable he killed a lion and then bees did not know where to go and put honey they went to a carcass and put honey there meaning if you must enjoy the honey you can endure the smell so you come to a man of god who is temperous but look beyond the temper there is an anointing there is always honey in the midst of the carcass this is the mystery of discerning the body you have to ignore the limitations that are in people so if the pastor does not look like you you may see him a yopi person and babs as if is some of these touts around this these vegas guys he may be that may not be the best but the truth of the matter is that he may be anointed the woman may dress and she may be careless you know like i was teaching a school of ministry students yesterday and i told him i went for a program and there was a woman of god who was introducing something and kai i'm not somebody who talks about dressing but mm -mm, even till today it's too much it's, it's not it's not she didn't leave anything to the imagination very bad for a congregation very bad for a congregation i say it again very bad for a congregation anyway it happened but the fact remains that the woman was very anointed can you endure the smell because the honey is there it's a mystery how the bees endure the smell to pitch it there there is this treasure let me give you the new testament translation that treasure is hidden in the bible didn't say in vessels in earthen vessels so you may not like me as a person but why don't you look beyond the limitation and see that there is a treasure that's why there is no church that cannot bless me if you search for jesus you will find him i've ministered in all kinds of places i remember when we were coming back from ekiti when we met some of the, 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 the men of God that prayed for us, Pastor Jake, they could not speak Yoruba. That's enough to annoy me. Say, so what is all this? I'm the one who needs the miracle. I need long life. That Baba cannot speak English, but he's walking in an experience of a reality. What do you think we did? We looked for an interpreter. There has to be an interpreter. We found an interpreter who came, and the man said we should kneel down. Now, I have received Jesus Christ. I am walking in partnership with his spirit. I have received of the word, but I discern his body. 
I would have said I'm a man of God. I, I was going for a crusade. It was a powerful crusade. Mighty miracles. And on the way we stopped. And the man didn't even say you are pastors. Say kneel down. First. Really that's what he said. And in Yoruba he was just praying. I didn't hear one thing he said. But all I know is that that man was long. He was living long enough for me to cover that grace. Which part of God's systems have you ignored? Please hear this message tonight. Is the answer to the prayer. That demon that has oppressed you. You have quoted scripture. That's very good. It's true that you are working with the Holy Spirit. But your knowledge is limited. But there is still out of his benevolence. He has kept an anointing with a vessel. One word go. Will set you free of 10 years of limitations. But we will refuse. And say look I know Jesus Christ by myself. So you limit God's possibilities. To only the revelation that the Holy Spirit and the word is permitted through your willingness and sometimes your lifetime may not afford you the dimension of revelation it takes for the result you need so you must tap into every channel that's what he meant when he told Nicodemus you must be born of the water and the spirit otherwise you cannot enter you can see it but you will not enter seeing the kingdom is that it has come to you but entering it is becoming a testament of the reality so you can now say since i was young now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken no that thing was not a poem to be recited by everyone it was a man's testimony based on a dimension of possibility you have to make it yours before you speak otherwise you will keep mocking yourself this is what these unguided confessions that are not out of understanding will keep mocking us if ye are abraham's children you will do the works of abraham what was his work he believed god god told him something god said abraham i want to introduce a dimension to you i have not done to anybody and abraham believed god tonight is easter all over the world there are cathedrals there are ministries there are crusades packed full with the over two billion christians on earth attempting men of god there are tapes rolling all over churches right now every man of god attempting sincerely to reveal something that the people can take back about easter i brought to you a reality the bible says this is the record it was documented god has given us eternal life but this life is in his son and whosoever has the son has that life but grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge according as his divine power hath not will hath is a fact giving us giving us giving us every limitation in my life and your life is a revelation of something about the systems of God we have ignored or are still learning and have not come into that fullness when you know that you put an urgency to your pursuit for God for the more I know you the more I want to know you Jesus more of you for the more I see your face the more I want to see Jesus more of you. Shortly we are going to take the communion. Please those relevant people, let's station them. There are three mysteries that the Lord revealed to me that will be open to us tonight. As we partake of the communion. Three. Number one. The communion tonight is an encounter with the spirit of revelation. We need revelation in our lives. We need revelations in our lives. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. We need revelation in our lives. The limitation of my life and your life is not dependent on Satan. It's dependent on how far I can access the dimensions of the possibilities that the life of God can provide. 
based on the knowledge that I have. His life only gives you potentials. Your partnership, accurate partnership, makes it an experience. Tonight as you partake of this, let something boil in you that all men are equal in Christ, but they are not equal in possibilities. Our possibilities are determined by the truths we have chosen to receive and the dimensions of the systems of the kingdom we have comprehended. And so we must press. Hear what Paul says. He says, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press. There is something I need to know about death to stop being afraid of it. There is something I need to know about poverty. There is something I need to know about restoration. There is something I need to know about fruitfulness. The love of God is revealed when we study his systems. The Bible says the invisible things of God, right? The invisible things are seen, they are learned, they are taught by the things that appear. So I look at and say, what, what kind of a man is this that grants me access to his life, sends his spirit to me, causes men moved by the same spirit to document more information? The apostles did not have a Bible. All they had was the Torah, right? The Pentateuch, the five books of Moses. But now God has gone the extra mile for our generation because he knows evil and wickedness will increase. And he has left a document to still help us. And then in addition to that, he has empowered men and women in the body so that we are not without excuse. And what a joy the Lord has spoken to us this year that is our year of triumph. That means we can walk with these systems of the kingdom and rise. When I was studying, I was just studying the passion of the Christ tonight and I was so touched looking at everything Jesus went through. Just for me, just for me, Jesus came and did it just for me, just for me, just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. That's what he did tonight. Well, the cross will always represent the love God had for me. When the Lord of glory heaven sent, gave all on Calvary just for me. Just for me, Jesus came and did just for me. So, what is the implication of tonight? I remember, I remember his sacrifice while he was on the way to Golgotha. The Bible says that there were certain things in the mind of God. And Paul was giving access to those things. They were encapsulated in a document. And Paul calls it a testament. And then Hebrews chapter 9, Paul is speaking. Pastor Alpha read it there. Jesus knew that those things would be activated only at his death. So they were prepared. And when he died, there was still ignorance. And he started moving through holy men to document these things. To say, now you have access. I have died. For every will is not yet activated until the death of the testator. Jesus died. If he did not die, eternal life will not be a reality. He hung on that cross between two thieves. A 33 and a half year old man, naked. There was no covering. No, he was naked. And he looked at the world that he came to die for. And the people yelled, crucify him. Let his blood be on our children. They were prophesying something that would really happen. Because his blood had to be on their children for them to be saved. What was a statement of war was a prophecy. Let his blood be upon our children. They didn't know that was why he was on the cross. 
they mocked him let me tell you something Jesus did not go to the cross as Jesus he went to the cross as me and you when he stood there he saw me he saw Joshua Selman he saw Koinonia remember Acts chapter 2 they were caught in their heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive that promise for the promise is unto you and unto your children and to your children's children he says as many as are afar off which the Lord will call this is where we came in in Acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 down to 44 the Bible says the moment the Holy Ghost fell on all they that had him day of the circumcision the Jews said ah I perceive truly we now see that God is no respecter of persons but that in every nation whoever calls upon his name will be saved tonight we are taking the communion number one access to the spirit of revelation according to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 I bow my knees and I pray for you O church of the Lord Jesus Christ that I desire you to release the reality of Zoe that life that is indestructible that life that is far above principalities and powers the life that is capable of demonstrating dominion here and now the life that is characterized by victory the life of meaning the life of fulfillment the life of purpose but it's access through knowledge the spirit of revelation number two the second thing that the communion will release to us tonight is reenacting that covenant of life through that prophetic act that we are going to be doing the bible says he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life do you know what that means there are many things at work in your life now that were not sponsored by that eternal life watch this my body as designed by God is supposed to grow through a system there should be a symmetry and a synergy correct if a boil starts coming out from here that boil is growing not at the same pace with my body now biologically they can say something is responsible but spiritually we know that another life is responsible so the result of that another life I see it different from my body so what you do is by the mystery of the communion you are taking it to your physical body physical flesh and blood it's a mystery that reminds the devil that every part of you was handed over to Christ that means whatever is not a derivative of the life of God put it scripturally every tree that was not planted by my father meaning there are other farmers are we together there are other what farmers for instance while men slept an enemy he's a farmer the bible says he came and sold he's a farmer and left whether that sleep is a spiritual sleep psychological sleep as a result of the weight of the vicissitudes of life fatigue several things happening in your life and you did not know and it weighed you down or as a result of real physical sleep the activities of darkness listen as you take this I want you to discern the Lord's body don't just to discern the Lord's body is not to eat slowly to discern the Lord's body is to take it with understanding it's not that you close your eyes you take it slowly no 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 that is religion to discern the Lord's body is that as you are taking this truly speaking this is wafers this is why but the, my understanding authorizes the Holy Spirit to form an eclipse between that that activity that dinner thing and me and as I lift it is the same thing as the servants who were carrying water while they lifted it the distance between his word and your mouth causes a miracle to happen this is what will make somebody hold it and just the distance from the table to your mouth you can't stand it and anointing responding to your understanding that's why somebody can take the communion and all of a sudden you feel you just took something small 
that before it got to your stomach a lot of itself was hanging around different parts of your body but all of a sudden you take it and you are already feeling fire on your leg did that thing get to your leg it's a mystery you only gave him space tonight can your communion be a body that you have prepared for him we have prepared a body remember a body has thou prepared without a body he cannot move so the communion just like the human body can become the body tonight that communion can be the hand that heals you tonight that communion can be the mystery that destroys the devourer for your non tithing and God can say I give you a clean slate start again tonight that communion can be a reversal of several things if you take it with understanding are we together so we are going to pray but before we pray overflow one overflow two by the road those online from any nation and any place you are listening to the first key is to receive the life of God Zoe the life of God is not Christianity Christianity was a description given to possessors of that life God is not initiating you into a religion he says come on to me listen there are people seated here looking at me inside and outside you are tired and you're saying apostle as I stand right now sincerely I don't even know what my life is about I have tried like the worship team sang I've done everything but tonight I am in all humility lifting my heart and my hands and saying I need that life my father refused to receive the life my mother refused to receive the life my brothers and sisters refused to receive the life I choose to receive that life and there are yet others who may say at one point I came for an altar call but sincerely I don't know the name of what I did I only know that they said congratulations and they gave me hamper I ate what was inside but nothing entered me and this night I want to eat of my the bread he said my bread is my body is meat indeed for in the sanctuary God Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is Wherever you are, just wait till I start counting before you come. I'm going to count one to five because of time. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, as I sat listening to you, I knew that I had to be sincere with myself. And I knew that I have to win this war. My life does not reflect Zoe in any way. Number one, I have not even received it. Every time I hear preachers talk like Saul of Tarsus, I mock them and I say they are wasting my time. But tonight, I want to win that war. And number two, there are others who said, well, I know that I came and confessed something. For a while, I was even walking with God. But sincerely, I know between me and God right now that I'm not serious with Him. And I don't want any pretense again. Wherever you are, the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you. Overflow one, two, wherever you are. I want you to make your way here. I would have asked you to go to the overflow outside, but there is a reason why I want all of you here. So as I count one to five, there are people there. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Leave your seat and come out here right now. If you are ashamed of your friend, you are ashamed of your brother, you are ashamed of your sister, then you are wasting the mystery of Easter. Start coming. One. God bless you. Leave your seat and come. Don't be ashamed. Clap for them, Koinonia. Appreciate them as they come. God bless you. Keep coming. that flows from help me see Emmanuel's faith keep coming lose all their guilty strength the third mystery 
that you will receive tonight from the communion is an empowerment for a strange order of dominion please don't forget these three things don't forget these three things number one access to the spirit of revelation number two an exit of everything that was not planted by God there will be mighty mighty miracles and deliverances as you take this number three an empowerment for a strange order of dominion the centurion said for I am a man under authority I say unto one go and he goeth I say unto another come and he cometh speak the word only the Bible says where the word of a king is there is power that as you partake of this communion something will come upon you the Bible says that when you take it right first Corinthians 11 when you take it that you announce you declare the Lord's death the meaning of that is that you tell principalities and powers that the person you used to know is not the person now Jesus died and I died in him and now the life that I live I live by the faith of the Son of God another system so way God's life now this is what we are going to do I'm going to give you two prayer points we are going to pray seriously and um, everyone outside you don't have to come there are the first overflow at the projector there is a provision like this the second overflow at the projector there is a provision like this and then in here we did it because of time now this is all you are going to do those here you would come this way just take the cup and the bread drop the cup there and march this way those here you will do the same thing and then i think there'll be a provision here at the minister stand so that we don't have chaotic things please some of you will fall under the anointing as you do it just be careful and let's just coordinate them i want to pray and bless this now and then we are going to pray the moment you partake of it you go back and find a corner and begin to blast in tongues and pray these three things in your life that's happy easter for you you have to pray it with all your heart and say lord i understand this mystery let my understanding permit the life of god to find expression prayer point number one lord i believe i believe but in case i do not believe help my own belief lift your voice and pray whatever is not of faith is sin lift your voice and pray pray inside and outside pray inside and outside Are you praying? Help my own belief. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called. Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. point number two Lord as I partake of this let the mystery of the communion be enacted in me whatever this represents I permit it to work in me lift your voice and pray seriously inside outside those online get bread and get wine or water get something that represents the communion Say na 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. I want to pray for the communion. 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23. The apostle is speaking and he says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, listen, that same night which was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 25. After the same manner, he also took the cup. Listen. Are you seeing the order? So you take the bread, then you take the cup. He took bread and said, eat. Then he took the cup. And he says, this is my blood of the New Testament. Do this as often. And then he says, 26. For as often as he eats this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Now he says, for this cause, verse 30, many are weak for not partaking of this with understanding. Many are weak, many are sick, and many among you sleep. Meaning if I partake of it with understanding, among other things, it should destroy weakness. It should destroy sickness and it should destroy death. That's the next prayer point. Lord, weakness, sickness, and the plague of death, any kind of death, it lives my life now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Victory. Victory. Over sickness. Weakness, death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please agree with me. I want to pray. I tell you, I sense such a strong anointing in this place. I'm praying here at the projector stand everywhere. Those online, regardless of any nation, just go and get something water, wafers, food, whatever. It's just a token. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ father tonight I stretch my hands prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ upon this communion this is ordinary wine and wafers but Lord we command it to lose its earthly significance now and take on a heavenly significance and lord i pray using this as a point of contact to every other communion set around the world connected to us now i decree and declare that this becomes a type and a shadow a similitude of the body of jesus a similitude of the bread the blood of Jesus Christ and Lord I pray that as we partake tonight we access the spirit of revelation as we partake tonight every stranger in our life must go immediately and Lord as we partake tonight
fresh fire for dominion and triumph in the name of Jesus therefore Lord we declare this blessed we call it blessed right now I put the word of God upon it and I declare that it will produce miracles in the name of Jesus God bless you please start coming start coming quickly worship him help us let's just have some people come and stand open it up and then
Just coordinate them, protocol coordinate them, please. There's a lot to do. If you're coming, double up, please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Ha! Like Jesus, are you praying? There the is spirit? no other name. Are you no, praying? No, the no, there is no other name. Like Jesus, there is no other name. No, no, there is no other name. Like Jesus, there is no other name. No, 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 there is no other name. Like Jesus, there is no other name. No, 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 there is no other name. You are the only 
living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Say, and you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the hey. only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. We praise you. 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 We love 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 you, 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 I adore 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 you, you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey, you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. You are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only. You are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. We praise you, 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 we praise you. We praise, we praise you. We praise you. We love 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 you. I adore 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 you. the Lord let your name be glorified hey you are the Lord let your name be glorified you are the Lord oh. you are the Lord let your name let be glorified you are the Lord let your name be glorified I say you are the Lord let your name
just conquered the world and gave us a victory. Say, victory, victory. Success, 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 success. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Jesus conquered the world and gave us a victory, 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 victory. Hey. Jesus conquered all the sickness and gave me good health, good health, good health. And give me success, 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 success. Hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and give me victory, 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 victory. Hallelujah. Jesus conquered all the sickness and give me good health. Good health, good health, good health, hallelujah. On the hill that's the cross, on the cross, there is blood for me. Hey, for me. On the hill, say, on the hill.
Hallelujah. Lift your hand. Something is happening to you. Something serious is happening in your spirit. Lift your hands. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I command a baptism. You have taken something in your body of the spirit of revelation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. That fire upon you. Illumination. By the mystery of communion. Step into a new dimension of light, of illumination. I command your spirit man to comprehend with all the sense, the length, the breadth, the height, the depth. I call your spirit man rise higher, a higher dimension, a higher dimension, a higher dimension. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mantles are falling here tonight. Other kinds are rising from the gates of the church. The poor are rising from the gates of the church. For the kings to be born, for revival to be born, for revival to be born. For the kings to be born, Ali Ali oh, Ali oh, Ali oh, Ali Ali oh, oh. Now listen to me. Any stranger in anyone's body now, whether by covenant, whether by sickness, right now as I speak, let the mystery of the communion speak now. I command judgment, every sickness, blood disease, covenants, right now, every tree not planted, help that lady, by my father. Let it go now. Let it go now. Terminal diseases, yokes of delay, limitations. I command it to give way right now. I tell you, there is a strong impartation in this place. I want to activate upon you a grace. Listen, the Bible says, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou. That they may come against you in one way, but that an unction from the Most High can be upon you and scatters them a thousand ways. The Lord has declared that it's a year of triumph. You are about to receive something that will make you run like Elijah. I pray for you. The mantle of strange dominion. Strange dominion over principalities, over circumstances. Take it now. Take it now. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Take it now. I release that mantle. I release that grace. No limitations. No limitations. Pray for 
breakthrough dominion breakthrough in business breakthrough in career breakthrough in academics I command it by the spirit of dominion hear me anyone here who is a man of God you are in any kind of ministry may an unction for kingdom authority let it come upon you right now take it now take it now grace kingdom authority take it now dominion let that fire rest on your ministry let that fire rest on your church let that fire rest on your assembly In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that everything Jesus died for and is not yet manifest in your life from tonight, I give the devil no rest. May your eyes begin to see the salvation of the Lord. May your eyes begin to see the salvation of our God. I pray for every family represented here and I prophesy enough is enough of every demonic assault therefore tonight by this communion I release judgment I release vengeance I release judgment I release vengeance I release judgment I release vengeance Whoever has partnered with darkness to keep your family bound this night as Jesus died in exchange may the earth open and swallow them may the earth open and swallow them the kind of results that your hands have not handled I pray for you that in the next 30 days as surely as the Lord lives by the mystery of the death of this Savior of us step into that dimension of results step into that dimension of results hallelujah buried with him in baptism we died with him and when we resurrected, we resurrected to a new life. Whatever makes the reality of eternal life to not speak in your life, I decree and declare right now that that barrier is broken forever. Finally, I pray for you. The anointing to bring others to this experience, the unction to walk in the reality of the life of Christ to walk in healing to speak breakthroughs to people I stretch my hands upon you like the dew of heaven let it fall on you right now let it fall on you right now let it fall on you right now right now is yours take it let it fall on you right now like the dew of heaven the unction to demonstrate the kingdom the unction to demonstrate the kingdom I release it for you right now Pastor Alpha shared the scripture we're rounding up the moment Jesus died the Bible says and graves open and graves open and they that had been dead some of them for years I want to prophesy resurrection in the name of Jesus like Lazarus like the son of the widow at name like the 12 year old lady in the Bible I decree and declare everything called dead in your life as a result of this mystery this night not tomorrow 
I command them to come back to life now. I command them to come back to life now. Dead opportunities, dead relationships, dead graces. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. In total thanksgiving. Give him praise. Now you can celebrate Easter with joy. Knowing that you have a revelation. And knowing that you can take back something. And say Jesus died. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade bashkanakata branda katekatos. Kete branda katapa kotos koto preka teke nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.